Well, the number one benefit of lung cancer screening is reducing the chance of dying from lung cancer through early detection. So of course, screening for uh, lung cancer with a low dose CT scan won't change the fact that somebody might have cancer, but if we can find it early before they have any signs or symptoms, we have more options that are gonna be more successful for possible cure. So the number one benefit of screening is finding a cancer early and being able to treat it and cure it before it has spread to any other part of the body. There are some potential downsides to low-dose CT scan for lung cancer screening, just like any other test. One important one is radiation exposure. So the CT scan uses radiation to develop the images. So you are, you are getting a small amount of radiation from the CT scan machine when you undergo a low-dose CT scan. Now, as the name suggests, it is a low dose of, C of radiation the CT scan is giving you. So a low-dose CT for lung cancer screening is approximately as much radiation as 10 chest x-rays. Or another way to think of it is it's about the same amount of radiation as we are all exposed to just walking around on the earth. So you may not know this, but you're being exposed to radiation from the sun and from the earth just by walking around on the earth. So a low dose CT scan of the chest is about the same amount of radiation as we get in a year um, walking around um, on the earth. Other potential harms of lung cancer screening are things that can be found on the scan that are not cancer. We're primarily looking for cancer, but a low dose CT scan of the chest gets other organs like the heart and the thyroid and the liver. And so sometimes we can find spots in those other places that are not anything to worry about and don't need to be addressed. That is called an incidental finding. So we might see something, perhaps a thyroid nodule, and that might warrant some additional evaluation that might cause a person to be anxious about the results of that. They might have to get another procedure or test to evaluate the thyroid nodule. So that's considered an incidental finding, and that is considered a potential harm because it is really not what we were looking for when we did the low dose CT scan. Um, the other harm of a low dose CT scan is something called a false positive. So a false positive is when you get a low dose CT scan of the chest and we find a spot on the lung. Spots on the lung or lung nodules are actually quite common. Most of them are not cancer, even in people who are at risk for cancer. So about 15% of people who get a low-dose CT scan of the chest will have a positive result. That means an, an abnormal finding on the CT scan. And the majority of those will not be cancer. So a false positive is considered a harm because it will put you through some additional testing and probably some additional worry to um, figure out what it is. And ultimately we figure out it wasn't a lung cancer, it wasn't something serious, and it probably wasn't something we really needed to know about. So these benefits and harms are one reason why shared decision-making is important. Shared decision-making is required by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services who um, cover lung cancer screening CTs, and they require shared decision-making. And that is so that the person who's undergoing screening is prepared for some of these potential things that could happen. Um, it also is to help educate a person that screening should be done annually if you're eligible for screening. And so the shared decision-making visit is the place where a healthcare provider and a patient, a person can talk to each other about the benefits and the risks of low dose CT scan, make sure that person is eligible for screening, make sure that if the person is still smoking cigarettes, they have a chance to get some help to quit if they're ready and uh, understand what they're going to be getting into with the low dose CT scan.